Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am making these cute festive Christmas stockings. These are super easy to make. You can whip out a whole bunch of them in just a couple minutes. I made five of them for each one of my kids and I absolutely love them. Anyway, if you're new, please consider subscribing and let's get started. Okay, so what you're going to need is some material. I found this quilted material at Walmart for just a few bucks a yard and I absolutely love it. So I have some red and some white. Uh, we're going to make a red one today. So what you're going to want to do is lay your right sides together and then you're going to want to get a stocking. It can be any stocking. You could grab a stocking from the dollar store, wherever. You're just going to need it to trace out a pattern. I'm sure you could find one on Pinterest or something, but anyway, I'm just using one that I had just barely made, but I'm just going to trace this out with a marker. And then after I'm done tracing it, I'm going to go and cut it out. Okay. And you could use scissors to do this. You, I'm just cutting with my rotary cutter. It's faster and easier to cut through both fabrics. So I'm going to hurry and cut this out and then we will move on to the next step. You can get these rotary cutters at Amazon for very cheap. I have them linked in my Amazon store and I will put it in the description below. Okay, now I've got my stocking cut out. There's two pieces there and I cut out a strip for the loop to hang it on so what you're going to do is just fold both sides of the strip in and then fold it over on itself and just sew straight down if that makes sense okay so this is what it looks like sewn um, i'm not going to show you the sewing process just because it takes a long time and my sewing machine is right in front of the window but now i am folding it in half and you need to decide which side you want your loop to be on i want mine to be on the heel side so I am just going to put one side of the loop on either side of the stocking and I'm just going to sew around and sew over the loop. So I'm sandwiching the stocking, oh, I can't talk, in between um, the loop. All right, so you're going to run over to the sewing machine, sew all the way around, sewing your loop in place, and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so you can see that I have sewn all the way around, leaving about a quarter inch seam allowance. And now we are going to flip it so it's right side out. And this is what your stocking looks like. You want to make sure you push out the heel and the toe of the stocking. And essentially you could leave it like this if you wanted. You could just put a little hem at the top and you could be done. I think that's cute. But I decided to add the cuff at the top and I just love how that turned out. So I'm gonna show you how to add the cuff right now. Um, I have this, I call it rosette, I don't know. But I have this material that was already, that I had already cut up for a different project. So I'm just gonna use it. Um, I'm folding it in half because I want it to be doubled. I don't want it to just be one side because then you'd be able to see through it. So I'm folding it in half. I'm wrapping it around my stocking just to measure and make sure that it's big enough. And then I'm going to cut off the excess. Okay, again, if you're not doubling your fabric, you don't necessarily have to do this. You just have to make sure it's big enough to go all the way around. But I just love the way this looks and I wanted to make sure that it wasn't see-through and everything kind of like I already said. If you're wanting some of this rosette fabric, I bought it at mystylishfabric.com. You can also get it on justfabric.com. I will leave links to both of those below. Okay, now that I've measured it, now I'm going to sew it. So I want to create a seam along the bottom of the cuff. So I'm just going to sew straight across one of the long sides. So I'll take it to the sewing machine and do that and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. I just wanted to make sure it was closed and it wasn't open. I don't know, I just like the look better of that. So that's why I created this seam along the bottom. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna sew along the long side. So I've done that. You can see the seam. Now I'm just gonna flip it so the right sides are facing out and now I need to make it 
a circle, right? So that I can sew it onto my stocking. So I'm gonna fold it in half and then I'm gonna take it back to the sewing machine and I'm just gonna create a seam right there, sewing all of the ends together. So I've done that. Now it's like a cuff. Um, I flipped it so that the seam is on the inside so it's not sticking out. Now what you're gonna do is take the part that you've sewn and it's gonna go in first. And I'm lining up the seam that I just sewed with one of the seams on the side of the stocking. And then you're gonna take it to the sewing machine and sew all the way around, making sure that you catch each side of the fabric. So sew it all the way around. I'm gonna do that and then I will show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I've sewn it all the way around and you need to make sure you don't sew your loop that you put on at the very first because that's tucked in there too. And then you're just gonna flip it up and over and you're finished. I have a few strings sticking off so I'm gonna cut those off. But anyway, this is the finished product. Like I said, I love how it turned out. I love the rosette stuff at the top. I just think it makes it look so warm and cozy and classy. Anyway, then you can add vinyl like I did. I just got heat transfer vinyl and added it on there. Um, you could do shapes or like characters, animals, whatever for each kid. Anyway, I hope you liked this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're new, please consider subscribing. I'm going to try and get back on my posting every single Tuesday. So be on the lookout for that. If you have any Christmas DIYs that you want to see, let me know. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you next time.